We are about to go get the Blood Fist ending. We got a call from uh, Freedom Will Prevail hey, is the up. mission. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Nobody betrays the revolution. It's time. Aggressively takes a dump on the seats. <laughs> and it sounds like, although I wonder if we're gonna change uniforms, because the guy said we need to go attack the police base. This is about to be crazy, to be honest. There he is. There's the rebels. Comrade. What's up, Victor? Hold on, let me turn off the sirens. All right, my friends. What's the situation? We know that what Arkhov is planning to do with Garin, so we might have to act quickly. Frontline attack is suicide. Our only chance is to go down the slope to the back of the warehouse. Frontline, okay, that's what we've said. But a bit of luck will surprise them. There's no time to waste. Let's go. Okay, here we go. I am the rebel now. Now or never, it's not split up. Long live free Arkistan. Wait, this guy just dropped his helmet. No, I'm out. I'm so low on ammo. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. I should have grabbed more ammo. Go to the police headquarters. I've joined the other side now. Damn, we're just lighting them up. Oh my God. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I was a part of that the whole time. They never knew. I still don't support the terrorist acts that they did, but they have a good cause. And it's already too late. We're in here too far. <laughs> you know, like bombing the parliament and uh, executing <laughs> some other people. Get him. Oh, man. Out of rifle ammo. <laughs> this guy is taking so many hits. Man, this is what a what a turn. You never would have expected, and that's the coolest thing about this. And I kind of do want to see what the uh, the government side of these story missions are, because uh, all the. All the blood fist options have been really dark all the way through. Like, we've been executing people. We've been, uh... The only time you really do something nice is, like, the one point where you let a guy free. The rest of the time, it's like, somebody's dying. <laughs> Revolution isn't clean. Gotta do what you gotta do. True. Very true. I wonder if we're going to change the flag. Please back up may come at any moment. Go inside. We will cover the rear. Hurry up. Garen's fate is in your hands. Oh boy. Oh boy. Save Garen. Oh! Oh, I didn't know this. there's going to be guys in here. For democracy. Damn. Ooh. The crazy thing is you you still would never expect this to be a border patrol game. Like if you saw this, you would think that it's like in some sort of FPS story-based game but no it's more more than just that and that's what makes it so cool <gasps> just you see your colleagues won't help you anymore we expect it oh he doesn't know he doesn't know commissioner personally ordered me to guard this piece of shit many good cops died because of him the sick rebellion has been going on for too long. Let's clean it up here and now. Oh, it's been cleaned up now. Revolutionary. Oh my god.
Victory to the Revolution. On May 16th, 1981, a bloody revolution takes place in the country led by the leader of the Blood Fist Movement, Michael Guerin. Former First Secretary Igor Akarov and the government are convinced of crimes against humanity. Many of the political prisoners are released, and the citizens who live under the dictatorship of fear can finally breathe. Oh, man. What the heck? Boris Alper... Al Ober... Oberakov. I, I never know how you say that name. Until the fall of the government, he continued his cooperation with the Blood Fist. The new government, wanting to cover up all connections with the gang, placed him in a closed psychiatric facility. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, his gang was pretty, pretty rough. Gregor Belov, badly wounded, he dies in an abandoned crypt found by Ober Oberax, uh people and buried in an anonymous grave the results of his investigation are never brought to light Pietor Pietor Kakavov Kav, Kavka after returning to the capital he continued working in the ministry until the government fell while trying to cross the border he was captured and sentenced to life imprisonment Imor Korchenko he continues to work for the resistance movement, tracking down and destroying everyone associated with the communist regime. After winning the revolution, wanting to forget about his past life, he and his wife will leave the country to start a new life. I remember Timur. He was cool. He's a cool guy. Gavrilov. I'm curious to see what happens to us. When his connections with the resistance are revealed, he abandons his uniform and engages in training blood fist militias. In appreciation for his services, he is appointed the new chief of the Arkistani police. Okay. And. And. Loving memory of Kamal Kona Urbanowski. R.I.P. A video game by Crazy Rocks. Produced in cooperation with Playway SA. Honestly, I really think this is the best, the best game from Playway, uh, or Playway has uh, published. The story, actually good, actually fun gameplay. Still has the simulation vibe to it. Everything about it, awesome. I, I'm really. Amaze. <laughs> Who knew that all along the fate of this country hinged on your decisions? Well, I mean, we chose who went in and who didn't. Who was I? Uh, wait, who is Gavrilov? I'm I'm trying to remember who that guy was. Wow, and then it just straight up brings you to the menu again. Gavrilov, that was really good. Uh, contraband police. Oh, he's the guy from the very beginning. He's the very first, uh, police commissioner that you find out is, uh, yeah, you, you get, that's the first choice you get. Do you arrest him or do you let him free? And I instantly let him free because he explained everything. And I was like, okay, you're free. And that's when I made the decision to join the Blood Fist. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make every decision. There's only one decision I didn't make for the Blood Fist. And that was the guy that was captured. Uh, and they were waiting to come get him. And I knew he was going to get beat up. So I, I let him free. But everyone else, I... Uh, I did blood fist choices. And it was kind of rough too. But uh but yeah, that was that was awesome. GG is very good. Very good. I highly recommend Contraband Police. Um that was uh, a lot of fun and I I do want to do a playthrough of all of the the government decisions.